Alright then gang, so we're slowly getting towards the end of this website. I think the next step is to tackle the footer underneath this section right here. So let's go to our code and at the bottom of this section where it says footer, we'll go underneath and say footer and we'll give this a class of page hyphen footer. This is a materialized class just to give it some styles. Then we'll give this a gray color and we'll also say darken three to darken that background. All right, so there's our footer wrapper, if you like. The next thing I want to do is place a container in here because if I don't, if I just started to type any old stuff inside, then like in the nav, it would go right to the edge over here, but I want to contain it inside this central column. So let's instead do a div with a class of container. If we can spell, all right. So inside this container, what do we want to do? Well, we'd like a couple of different columns, I guess. I'd like a column over on the left, and that would contain a bit of stuff about me or something like that. And then over on the right, maybe some links to social uh, websites like Facebook and Twitter. So first of all, let's do the left stuff. We'll create a row, so div.row, and then the left stuff is going to be a div with a class of call. Then we want this to have a width of 12 columns on small screens. So we'll say S12 and then on large screens and up, we want six columns. So we have that now and inside we'll do an H5, which says about me. And then underneath that H5, we'll do a P tag. And in fact, I'm just gonna copy some of the lorem ipsum from up here. So we'll grab that dude and paste it down below here. And then the same thing beneath that, just a couple of those and save it. And let's see what this looks like so far. Okay, so looking good, it's six columns in width, so half of the page width, that's good. So next, let's do some links over on the right side over there. So back to the code. After this div, we'll do another div. And this is gonna have a class of col. Then again, for small screens, I want this to be 12 columns in width, so S12. Then for large screens, I want this to be four columns in width, so L4. Now, this is six columns in width, and this is four, which makes 10 altogether, meaning we have two spare left over. So let's offset this column or this chunk of content by two columns so that that space is in the middle. So we'll say dot offset hyphen L for large screens, and then it's going to be two columns. All right, so inside this div, we will do an H5, and we'll say connect or something like that. So if we save that now and preview this in a browser, cool, we can see that right here. Now underneath, we'll do a UL to list our links and inside here, an LI tag, then an anchor tag. And this is gonna have gray hyphen text. And we'll also lighten that gray. So we'll say dot text hyphen lighten hyphen three. And then the href can be whatever for now. Inside here, we'll just say Facebook. Okay, then what I'll do is just duplicate these down below. So shift and alt together, then press down to just duplicate that a couple of times. And then we'll change this one to Twitter and then LinkedIn. And then what other social sites do we have? We'll do Instagram. All right. So now we have those links as well. Boom, there we go. So that's looking pretty good, right? We have this on the left, that on the right. And when we make this smaller, we should see at some point it's snap and we can see those go to full width instead. All right, cool. So then one last thing I'd like to do is beneath that footer, do one more strip, which is gonna be the copyright notice. So you see sometimes at the bottom of websites where it says, copyright 2018, whatever. We're gonna do the same thing here. So underneath all of this stuff, but still in the footer itself, still part of the footer, but underneath the rest of the stuff, we'll do another div, and that's gonna have a class of footer hyphen copy right. Again, this is a materialized um, class. Then we'll also give this a class of gray and darken that. So it's a gray background, but darkened by four. Then inside we'll do a div and that's gonna have a class of container just to contain that content inside of this. We'll also say center hyphen align 
and then inside that we'll do our little copy sign so that's and copy and that little semicolon so that makes a copyright sign in the browser if you look at this we can see that right there and we'll just say after that 2018 photo ninja all right so let's save that and view that in the browser and voila looking pretty good right so now we have our footer well sorted in the next video what i'd like to do is go back up to the top and work on this navigation a little bit more to add in some social icons and also do some tool tips when we hover over those social icons